this will take to emerge from so-called shelter-in-place orders. 25 News reporter Dennis Turner shows us how this plan depends largely on meeting medical standards before a new phase can begin. Tina Cruz took on the shopping burden for her family and that of three close relatives. She hopes shopping gets easier once more stores reopen under Governor Abbott's plan to ease the Texas economy back into service. It is important because people do need to work and make money to be able to take care of their families. Governor Abbott foreshadowed the big announcement last week in a series of interviews across the state, including here at 25 News. Monday, the plan became official at an afternoon announcement. Governor Abbott's plan would open new sets of businesses in stages, with one not progressing to the next without meeting strict medical standards, ensuring the coronavirus does not spread. Phase one, including stores, restaurants, and theaters, starts Friday, May 1st. If we can contain the spread of COVID-19 during that time period, we can move to phase two as early as May the 18th. Phase two will open more businesses and allow the businesses open in phase one to expand their operations. The governor's plan calls for social distancing of a sort. The magic number, 25%. That's the new COVID capacity of stores, restaurants, and theaters. So if a restaurant had a previous capacity of 100 people, its new COVID capacity would be 25%, meaning the restaurant can only seat 25 people at a time. If a movie theater has a capacity of 200, its new COVID capacity would be 25% or 50. For standalone buildings and shops, the rules seem fairly straightforward. What seems less clear is the impact on malls. Do they count as one building or many under one roof? That's something into which we'll dive deeper as we examine these new rules more closely in the days ahead. Rural counties with less than five cases can increase their COVID capacity to 50%. The governor's plan also creates better access to child care for essential workers and a big beefing up of community contact tracing and COVID testing. When you aggregate all of the tests run by uh, the state and local governments with the rapidly increasing number of tests run by the private sector, we should easily exceed our goal of 25,000 tests per day. In the meantime, many Texans like Tina Cruz have adapted to a new normal and a higher standard of cleanliness. Still be wearing our mask and stand washing our hands and using hand sanitizer and all that stuff as normal. Because even with safeguards in place, she's not ready to totally place her personal safety in the hands of Texas politicians. At the Central Texas Marketplace, Dennis Turner, 25 News. So Dennis, thank you. During the first wave of the Paycheck Protection Program, large businesses were able to apply for loans as great as $10 million, but that left little funds for small businesses. 25 News reporter Abby Loring tells us how one small business owner is fighting just to pay her employees. Small businesses are not only having to worry about having less business, but also battling the ups and downs of applying for funding with hopes it won't run out a second time. On Friday, Congress approved an additional $484 billion coronavirus relief package and includes an additional $310 billion in funding for the PPP. Valuable dollars which came up for grabs Monday morning. Misty Dollar, owner of Cali's Boutique in Temple, applied for the PPP when it first came out, but was unable to get help when it quickly ran out of money earlier this month. Dollar is now waiting for the approval, which means even further delays in getting money to help pay rent and pay employees. It's not uh, enough money to sustain, you know, for months and months and months, but it will help.